Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video we'll be looking at how the House of Windsor got its name. The Windsor name is now synonymous with the grace, grit and majesty of the British royal family. But just 100 years ago they were the House of saxe coburg gotha the name given to the royal family by Queen Victoria's German husband, Prince Albert. In the spring of 1917, King George V, aware of the monarchy's precarious future, decided it was time for the family to find a British name, one that would alleviate the concerns for public gripped by an anti-German sentiment. The man tasked with the job was Lord Stamfordham, the King's trusted private secretary. He trawled through history books but struggled to find a name, untouched by the monarchy's own bloody history passing over Tudor, Stuart and Plantagenet, before finally being struck by inspiration while working in Windsor Castle. However, before settling on the name Windsor, Stamfordham, who also served Queen Victoria, faced several knockbacks from the King and the Prime Minister, who were both keen to avoid names with any negative connotation. Lord Stamfordham wrote, The King bars Plantagenet, and does not care about Tudor. Tudor Stuart has been suggested. These were later rejected by former Prime Minister Herbert Asquith. Another option available was Fitzroy. However, this was also dismissed for a number of reasons, including its connection to Henry Fitzroy, the illegitimate son of King Henry VIII. Seemingly losing hope, on the 23rd of May, Stamford and despaired. It is disastrous. The King is all for a prompt settlement. It would be nearly a month before a suitable solution was found. The turning point was on the 13th of June, when London was raided by the German Gotha bombers. The city and the British people were brought to their knees by aircraft carrying the name of their own royal family. That same day, Stamfordham finally struck inspiration while working in Windsor Castle. He outlined his proposal in a letter to the Prime Minister. I hope we may have finally discovered a name which will appeal to you, and that is that Queen Victoria will be regarded as having founded the House of Windsor. The change had its desired effect almost immediately. There was also a later threat to the House of Windsor, when Queen Elizabeth II came to the throne in 1952. Her husband, Philip Mountbatten, who took the name Mountbatten himself from his uncle, Louis Mountbatten, wanted to pass, as Prince Albert had done, his surname onto his wife and children, therefore changing the royal house to the name Mountbatten. The name was rejected by the royal family and government, who, under the guidance of Winston Churchill, influenced the Queen to maintain Windsor. And so the House of Windsor continues to this very day. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please leave a like, comment and share on social media. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest royal uploads. From me in Shropshire, goodbye.